Not much was actually known about Ariel's mom, Athena, until the release of the 2008 straight-to-VHS prequel, The Little Mermaid, Ariel's Beginning. But even then, it looks like Disney may have omitted a massive secret that the Queen of the Sea was hiding from Triton that could have majorly impacted the entire world surrounding The Little Mermaid. In fact, if this theory proves to be true, then it could mean that Ariel had a stronger connection to the surface world than she originally thought. While a lot of fans have concerned themselves with what actually happened to Ariel's mom that ended her life, it's possible that there's something even more important to worry about, which is where she came from. Athena wasn't mentioned much in the original Disney movie, but that might have been on purpose. There's a theory going around that might actually be addressed in the live-action reimagining being released this year that claims that Queen Athena was actually a human before she became a mermaid. That might be confusing, considering that she married a mer person and had a bunch of mer children, but after thinking about all of the Little Mermaid storylines from the original animated movie, the sequel, the prequel, and a few novels, it's easy to see how the concept could work. At the end of the day, though, if Athena was a human before she started her life with King Triton, that would mean she likely kept it a secret from the King of the Sea, which would be huge if you consider the ramifications. For example, if Athena was a human at first, then that would also make Ariel half-human, which actually plays a big part in this theory later on. For starters, it's important to take it from the top of all the storylines to understand exactly how Athena could have gone from being a human to becoming a mermaid. While that might seem impossible at first, that all changes when you consider the fact that it's been done before by other characters in the Little Mermaid's universe. And this isn't a reference to when Ursula transformed Ariel into a human in the original movie. There is an instance where a human transformed into a mer person that actually took place in the book Poor Unfortunate Soul, A Tale of the Sea Witch by Serena Valentino. The story was centered around Ursula and her life before she was officially known as the Wicked Sea Witch and the events that led her down that path. Believe it or not, there is some key evidence in the book that supports the idea that Queen Athena was once a human and that she hid it from her husband for as long as they were married. Interestingly enough, like most Little Mermaid stories, aside from the original movie, Ursula was actually Triton's sister in the book. However, the pair were separated at young ages and the sea witch was adopted by the human fisherman that found her. Growing up, Ursula had no clue that she was a magical person, according to Serena Valentino. However, when she started to develop her abilities, the other townsfolk grew weary of her. And after her adoptive father died trying to protect her from the angry townsfolk, it solidified her hatred for humans as she accepted her powers fully. It was at that point that Triton revealed himself to be her brother and brought her back to the sea. Little did he know that might have been what inevitably led Athena to eventually become a mermaid in the first place. With Ursula clearly being able to transform between her human and sea witch form, there's nothing to say that she couldn't do that to other people or mer people. In fact, that's exactly what she did to Ariel in The Little Mermaid. She used her powers to transform the daughter of Triton into a human, meaning that she could have used her powers in reverse to transform a human into a mer person. So right there, you have the how factor. Athena could have potentially been transformed from her human form into a mermaid through the use of Ursula's magic. Now, as for why Ursula would turn Athena into a mermaid, there are actually two reasons why she might have done that. The first of which involves the fact that she hated humans. You see, according to the book Poor Unfortunate Souls by Serena Valentino, Ursula was responsible for creating sirens and sending them out to kill humans. And for those who don't know, a siren is basically the evil version of a mermaid. They are typically known in folk for using their enchanting song to lure sailors to their death, and that's exactly what Ursula used them to do in Valentino's book. So, there is a chance that Ursula had planned on turning Athena, who, according to this theory, was a human, into a siren. However, she didn't account for Athena being so nice to her, which according to the book, she was. Athena was one of the only mer people in the sea that treated Ursula with kindness, so some believe that the sea witch decided to turn Athena into a mermaid instead of a siren so that she could have someone to be close to in the kingdom. And if this is is true, then that means Athena was likely keeping her human side a complete secret from Triton and the rest of her family. Now, the secret that Queen Athena may have been keeping from her family could also be the very thing that led King Triton to hate humankind himself. As you know from the original animated movie, King Triton wanted his family to stay far away from humans, and he forbid them from going to the surface. Well, in the 2008 prequel to The Little Mermaid, the true reason behind his hatred was revealed when his wife, Queen Athena, was killed by humans on a patrolling pirate ship. And at that moment, a heartbroken Triton 
Britain decided that humans were to blame, which is more than fair, but it looks like there might be a little more to it than that. You see, according to this theory, Athena had been keeping her true identity as a human hidden from Triton because she likely knew how superficial he was. Athena loved Triton, but as the king of Atlantica, he would likely have to marry a purebred mermaid, so she knew that he could never find out that she was a human. However, on the day that the pirates attacked, some fans speculate that her secret was revealed. According to the theory, when Queen Athena was killed by the pirates, her body transformed back into its human form and Triton realized that he had been lied to for years by his wife, the woman he loved. So not only would he have been heartbroken at the loss of his wife, but he also would have likely felt betrayed by everyone that he held dear. It was then that King Triton created the rule in the kingdom that there would be no contact between the citizens of Atlantica and the surface world above. Though his wife's potential lie wasn't done out of malice, the distrust that it sowed in the king would have deeply affected his kingdom for centuries, especially when he came to the realization that the lie that Athena told was one that not only affected him, but the rest of his family as well. You see, King Triton would have realized after he learned that his wife was originally human that there was human blood running through the royal veins of the kingdom of Atlantica. If Queen Athena was originally a human who was turned into a mermaid by Ursula, then that would mean that her children would at least have some human genes in them along with the mermaid genes that came from Triton. And if that's true, then it could also explain Ariel's obsession with the surface world and why she was so fascinated with humans. Although it does seem a bit strange that in The Little Mermaid, Ariel was the only member out of her entire family that was so interested in the human world. Then again, when you take into account everything in the 2008 prequel film The Little Mermaid Ariel's Beginning, you'll notice that Ariel was easily the closest to her mother out of all her siblings. In the movie, it was shown that Ariel and her mother had very similar singing voices, and on top of that, she was practically a spitting image of Athena. This means that Ariel was most likely born as the daughter that shared the most genetics with her mother Athena, and according to this theory, those genes came from the queen's human side. As mentioned, this would hands down explain Ariel's obsession with humans despite her entire family telling her to stay away from them. But she couldn't stay away because she had her mother's human genes which were drawing the young mermaid to the surface each and every day. That could also explain why King Triton was much more strict when he was shown interacting with Ariel than he was with the rest of his daughters. It was because Ariel reminded him the most of her mother, who, according to this theory, had lied and deceived him throughout their entire life together. There is another school of thought when it comes to this theory that actually involves the very recent live-action reimagining of The Little Mermaid. Some fans actually speculate that Queen Athena is going to make an appearance in the movie in the form of Prince Eric's mother, Queen Selena. You see, recently Disney has announced that Queen Selena is going to be portrayed by Noma Dumuzweni. This has raised a few eyebrows in terms of how she would actually be related to Prince Eric, who is being played by Jonah Howard King, considering their different ethnicities and leading some to believe that Queen Selena is actually Eric's mother-in-law. However, it doesn't stop there. There is even a portion of Disney fans that have begun to think that Queen Selena is actually supposed to be Athena after she was transformed back into her human form by Ursula. Now, that could be a huge stretch and something that Disney will most likely keep quiet, but it seemed important to mention the theory because it could be another indicator that Athena had a human side to her that she most likely kept secret from Triton and their children. What do you think about Queen Athena, though? Is there any chance that she was a human after all and that Disney will reveal her to be Eric's mother-in-law in the live-action reimagining? Be sure to let me know in the comments below.